Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a huge autumn Boohoo haul to take you guys through today. Boohoo have gifted everything in this video just to be completely transparent. Got a needy dog on my lap today. Um, but obviously I will be completely honest about my reviews on everything. Quality, sizing, fit, pricing, all of that. Just to really quickly recap my sizing, generally speaking, I wear about a UK 18, sometimes a size bigger on my bottom half, and I am five foot seven. So let's jump in and I'll show you all the bits I got. So first item is this kind of like chunky knit stand-up collar jumper. This is one of the items I was the most excited about, but annoyingly, it was really, really small. So I got this in a size extra large and it was teeny, teeny, tiny. I was expecting this to be a far more kind of like comfortable, loose fit. This is actually from the petite range, so that could be why. Um, but having said that, I do actually really, really like this jumper. It was just too small. Um, I actually really struggled to get my head through the hole. That was like the smallest bit of it. It took like half of my makeup with it. Um, but surprisingly, the quality is really, really good. I've got super sensitive skin, wasn't scratchy or anything like that. I love this kind of like off-white with a really, really simple black stripe. I would wear this with just some skinny jeans, nice kind of chunky boots and layer up some gold jewelry on top. Super nice and cozy for the warmer weather we're gonna be getting soon. They do also do this um, with the colors reverse, so like a dark one with the white stripes. This is currently online for £16.80, which is dirt cheap. I think that's actually a really, really good price for something like this quality. I was really surprised actually. Um, but like I said, it was just teeny tiny. It was too small for me. So I had that jumper on with these jeans. So these are their high-waisted skinny jean. Um, I actually got these in a size 20 because like I said, sometimes I need a size bigger to get my booty in. Um, I actually thought these were like a little bit too big for me. So I should have stayed true to size. They're super, super stretchy. So if you're kind of like between sizes, I'd go down. Um, these are so high-waisted, like maybe too high-waisted. I don't think I've ever said that about jeans before. Um, but yeah, they were very, very, very high-waisted. Having said that, I really like the wash of these. They're just like a really deep, simple, just blue wash. Can't go wrong with that teams and loads of different things really really nicely so obviously i wore this with that cream jumper i thought it looked so so nice together um yeah definitely like a staple to have in your wardrobe i'd say they were definitely curve friendly they were like accommodating on my hips um like i said i think i would definitely need them in an 18 because they were just a bit too big in certain places like around my waist um and like i had certain bunch bunching in areas but actually pleasantly surprised with the quality of these like i said they're nice and stretchy i do not buy jeans that aren't stretchy having said that in this haul i was going to show you another pair of jeans um which were also a size 20 and couldn't even nearly get them on so there's definitely a lot of lack of consistency between sizing and stuff um but yeah these ones i really liked but would need them in a size smaller these were only 16 pounds, which you guys will know are extremely cheap. I also just grabbed a super simple t-shirt. Uh, I think my face will say it all when I tried this on. This was so tiny. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. It's so, so short. So I got this in an extra large. Um, yeah, really, really small, but I do love this color. I think this is a really great um, choice for autumn. That really nice kind of like slightly rusty red color. The fabric's actually quite nice. It's like very thin, silky, really stretchy, super comfortable. I thought this, if it was longer, would have looked great. Maybe just like slightly tucked into some high-waisted jeans, like some gold jewelry. I thought it would look really cute. Maybe like a denim jacket or a leather jacket or something on top. Um, but yeah, it's like a drop shoulder design on the image. It just looks very different. <laughs> it looks very, very different to what arrived. Um, it was like 
just under my boobs. This was only eight pounds and they do it in a couple of different colors. There was like a darker green color and there's also a gray option available as well. Right, this next one is definitely more of like a practical option in my mind. So obviously autumn, winter's coming and dog walking in the cold and the wet. So I thought I would grab this bad boy. So this is like a parka jacket. Um, it's got like a little bit of padding in it, but it's not like a full on puffer jacket, which is great for like um, transition between seasons. And they did this in a couple of different color options as well. I went for this kind of like khaki with the black. They also did it in like a cream and black as well, which I was tempted by, but definitely far less practical for like dog walking. It doesn't actually say that it's waterproof, but it feels like it would probably be shower proof. Um, but to be honest, if you guys know anything about our dogs, then our dogs do not walk in the rain. <laughs> they hate going out in the rain. So I knew that I definitely didn't need anything that was gonna be like rainproof, but shower proof is always handy. Um, I like that it has this little kind of like rubbery badge on the sleeve here. It's pretty simple, doesn't stand out too much. It has these really nice kind of elasticated cuffs on the sleeve there, so nice and snug for winter keeps the draft out has a hood as well it's obviously really really handy the one thing i was surprised about is it has this um i don't know if you can see it looks like a piping detail along here i thought it was going to have a drawstring that you could like tighten and kind of cinch in the waist of the coat it didn't have anything to do that so that would have been like the one thing that would have taken it from like to there, do you know what I mean? Being able to give yourself a little bit more shape. I sized up and got this in a size 20 because I wanted it oversized and it was definitely like really big, really comfortable, plenty of room for like thick jumpers underneath if you wanted to do that. But yeah, just a nice little practical one, but it's like a stylish practical. This is currently online for 42 pounds, which I feel like is just, I don't feel like that's super cheap. I don't think that's super expensive for a coat like this. Um, I'll personally get a lot of wear out of this. So next up I have this plus size peplum blouse. You guys know I love that kind of like floaty peplum style. If you've got curves, it's the perfect kind of way to like accentuate your curves, but still have that nice kind of comfortable floaty feeling. Um, I have quite a few tops very, very similar to this. So I got this one in the white. It was completely see-through. Um, I mean, I feel like that's going to be obvious when you see it on me. I also wasn't completely convinced by this kind of detailing on the front it just didn't seem to sit right on me um i got this in a size 18 and i felt like that fit perfectly it was really comfortable it has an elasticated waistband which is always really comfortable and really nice kind of floaty sleeves as well so i did really like it but obviously it just looked really cheap because it was so see-through the material was just like meh they do actually do this in a few different colors as well so they do it in a uh, dark green which i actually really wanted but they didn't have my size but potentially it would look better in a darker color because you wouldn't have that kind of see-throughness um they did it in navy blue a black a baby blue and also a light gray as well so this is 20 pounds honestly like it's not worth it because it's just super see-through. It looks really, really cheap. Next item I got is this trench coat. This is also from the plus size range. Um, I got it in size 18 and I love myself a trench coat, but this, I just don't think this was the one at all. It looks a little bit, because it's creased from being in the packaging. But firstly, I think this color's just a bit too brown for my liking. I'd rather it's more of like a creamy taupe color. Um, size wise like the 18 was massive but i feel like it's massive all over like look at the size of these sleeves like it was just large all over i don't think they've nailed like the plus size um it wasn't like shaped for plus size and that's one of my biggest pet peeves is like when people think plus size just make it massive um but it was quite shapeless it just didn't do me any favors i struck two I stuck true to size and it just seemed really like oversized and just really, really baggy. I did like that on the back it had this kind of like, you know, kind of like flap detailing. I quite like that. Um, but yeah, like the straps and everything was just a bit too much. I will say though that I did really like the detailing on 
the buttons and like the belt clasp had this really nice kind of tortoiseshell detailing which I think just makes it look more expensive than it actually is but it was like a near miss for me like it just didn't really feel right the quality itself actually like it's good um but yeah I just thought like the fit wasn't on point the sizing wasn't on point it's just a no from me so I got this in the stone colour. I will say online it looks quite a bit lighter than it actually is in reality. They also do it in a cobalt blue colour as well, which is very, very bright. Um, they do sizing all the way up to a size 28. It's currently online for £36, which is cheap for a trench coat, but I think it looks like what you pay for, if that makes sense. Okay, next up, I have this oversized hoodie. I think they actually sent me the wrong colour. I There's a really nice kind of burgundy colour, similar to that t-shirt at the beginning of the video. Um, they accidentally sent me this kind of like pinky colour. I still think it's cute, but the burgundy is definitely a vibe for like autumn time. Um, it's just a really nice, simple, oversized hoodie. Can't go too wrong with that. But one thing that I love is they have this kind of like design studio range. Um, and... It's very, very simple, but they've embroidered the logo on there. So it just says design studio. I think that kind of like embroidered detailing looks far more high end than like stuff that's printed on. So I really, really like that. This was super oversized. So I got it in an extra large. Um, I'd say it was more like long than it was big, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I did really like the sizing. It was super comfortable. It's just like a really nice go-to hoodie. They do these in a few different colors as well. There's like the burgundy, black, and there's also a sand color, which is really, really nice as well. This was 22 pounds, which I feel like is a really good price just for like a general kind of hoodie that you're gonna wear a lot. I actually have loads of hoodies and sweatshirts from Boohoo that I've tried and tested. I think the embroidered bit is definitely like the way to go, not just with Boohoo, but like, any kind of sweatshirt or anything but yeah love that one these kind of puffer gilets i hope i'm saying it right is it it's a gilet right anyway they seem to be really in fashion right now so i had to grab one i absolutely love this so i did try this on with that pink hoodie and actually i wouldn't wear it with a hoodie i'd wear it with like a sweatshirt or just a normal jumper because it has this kind of like more stand-up neckline wearing it with a hoodie is just a bit like there's too much going on back there for me but I haven't worn a gilet in so long and I'm glad they've kind of come back into fashion because I just think they look really cute. This one actually looks really, really good quality. So it's not like a super, super puffed up one that's really, really thick, but there's a decent amount in there to kind of keep you a little bit warmer. Um, the zip detailing on this actually looks really good. You have this kind of like nice metal zip. It's nicely concealed so that if you do zip it up, it kind of has this layer that goes over the top to kind of conceal it a little bit more. Um, this is also from the plus size range as well. So I grabbed it in a size 18. That was perfect sizing for me. Absolutely love it. I think this looks more like high end than it actually is. And this is something that I will personally wear so much. I would probably team it with, obviously you guys know my style, leggings, maybe like a colourful sweatshirt, I've got one I'll show you in a minute, um, and probably some of those like longer white sports socks, some Air Force, I think it looks really good as like a weekend kind of athleisure outfit, and it'll be nice and cosy as well. So obviously I got mine in the black, they also do it in a white, um, a little bit too risky for me, that won't stay white for long. Um, obviously I got the 18, but they do sizes from 16 all the way up to a size 28. And they are currently 27 pounds online, which is really, really good for a puffer. Okay, so this is 100% my favorite item from the whole haul. And I'm not gonna lie, I've worn this so many times already. Um, I, as soon as the package arrived, I fished this out because I was like desperate to wear this. So I grabbed myself a little sweater short set. I'm not gonna lie, I mainly got it for the sweatshirt, but the shorts is like a cute little bonus. I love this color, this like cobalt blue. It's so, so nice. Um, I thought it was like a good color for autumn. It's not your typical like green, red. 
it's not like a, I mean, it is a summery color, but I think this is a good kind of like colorful transitional color into autumn. Um, it's just a really nice, big, oversized sweatshirt. Super soft, super cozy inside. I got the set in a size extra large and I've been mainly just wearing the sweatshirt with like leggings and stuff like that. It's so, so comfortable. And I love the detailing on the back. I think that's really, really cool. It has those kind of like retro collegiate vibes. Um, so like I said, with that gilet, I'd probably chuck it on more with like something like this. Some of those kind of like longer white sports socks, Air Force. And I think that does look really, really cute together. So absolutely love this. Quality is really good. And then I got the shorts as well, obviously, which similar material. And they've just got a little bit of detailing on the leg there, but it's pretty discreet. So obviously you can wear them by themselves. Like I've been wearing the jumper with leggings, but it's also like a nice kind of cozy, stay at home, cuddle up, watch a movie kind of outfit, which is, is very much my vibe. Last clothing item that I've got some shoes to show you guys. So I grabbed this tiered smock dress let's talk about the elephant in the room it did not go over my boobs it came up really really small on my chest and my arms i got this in a size 18 it was definitely too small but i do love the style and the print of this dress so it's just like a really simple kind of muted floral design and i normally don't like a smock dress but this one actually like i thought it was a vibe it has these really cute kind of like ruffle detail tears to it um just really nice and floaty i chuck this on with a pair of tights um some chunky boots just a really nice kind of comfortable weekend outfit but this does come up very very small this isn't from the plus range either so you can't size up and get it a size bigger so 18 is the biggest size that they have in this dress and it's currently online for 18 pounds um the quality is like okay the material is like okay um it feels like a cheapy dress so depends what your vibe is so typical my camera battery wanted to die literally at the end of the video but last item i have to show you guys i got some nice chunky autumn winter boots so i actually already have some boots kind of similar from boohoo but they're quite a few years old now i have worn them so much but they've actually lasted really really well considering they are a cheap kind of option um and the amount that i've worn them so these are kind of similar, but slightly different. I went for these kind of really, really chunky sole boots. They seem to be really, really in right now. My last ones actually just had a zip that went up the front. Um, these ones have lacing detail up the front, but the best thing is they have a zip that runs up the inside. So you don't have to lace them up all the time to get them on and off, which is bliss. You can just zip them up, which is why I got my last ones actually, because I don't want to you know mess around with the laces but i do love this because you can obviously tighten these up as much or as little as you want and then you just like slip them on with a zip so yeah really good option these are actually in a wide fit which i'm glad because they fit perfectly i think they did them in a non-wide version but I, I definitely need the wide ones and actually i was so surprised by how comfortable they are it's like they've got padding on the inside so they're super, super soft. I actually feel like they're really good quality. They feel super sturdy. They look really good quality. I'm really happy with these. And like I said, I would wear these with so many things. Chuck them on with just like leggings and like an oversized sweatshirt. Or even that jumper I showed you at the very beginning. Like wear that with leggings and some chunky boots, bit of jewellery, just to dress it up. So many different ways that you can wear these. They're really good for like practical stuff like going out in the rain or like whatever you're gonna do but they also look cute as well and i love the kind of like chunky sole of them so i got these in a size seven they fit absolutely perfectly and i still feel like there's room if i want to wear like more thick chunky socks with them as well for warmth they go up to a size eight and they're currently only 21 pounds so that is like dirt cheap for a big chunky pair of boots like this i was tempted by there was like another pair of boots on there that was more of like a sandy color but in all honesty like i don't know if i'd really wear them that much whereas i know that i will wear these so much and yeah they're definitely worth it right guys so that is everything i had to show you guys um as with always with boohoo like in this haul there was some really really good stuff that i know that i love and i'll wear loads 
but there's also some really disappointing things as well the sizing's really hit and miss i've always found that with boohoo um and the quality is like some of the stuff i feel like it is really good quality and some of it's just really really not and you can't always tell from like the photos online so obviously i feel like we all know that by now um just be aware when you are ordering stuff they do have a lot of cute autumn stuff in at the moment but the things i would stick with is the boots and like the sweatshirts and hoodies and stuff like that i feel like for me that's where the best stuff is but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have any questions ask away in the comment section below i'll be linking all of the items i tried on in this video in the description box in case you do want to go check anything out but if you haven't already liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and subscribe for loads more kind of like fashion lifestyle content coming up and i will catch you guys in the next one <laughs>